Hey guys, it's Brandon again. I wanted to talk today about something that I've gotten a ton of questions on, and it's probably the one thing that most people are going to commonly have a problem with trying to go to a Chrome OS or Chrome OS Flex, and that is Microsoft Office. A lot of people have asked, is there a way to get Office on this thing? And the short answer is, not really. Um, that's probably going to be the biggest issue with Chrome OS and Linux in general, is you're not going to have the full proper desktop version of Microsoft Office. So what I want to talk about today are some alternatives that you can look at and ways you can kind of get around it. So we're going to do that first. Um, one thing that all these Chrome OS devices come with, obviously, is Google Docs. This is Google's version of Office. Um, they have a Word knockoff. They have an Excel knockoff. They have a PowerPoint. And they're, I think, generally pretty capable. But for some people, it might work. Some people might not. I know a lot of people nowadays use Google Docs exclusively. I know a lot of schools use Google Docs exclusively. Some businesses. Personally, I've never liked Google Docs. And maybe it's just because I haven't used it that much. Um, I don't know. I don't like the interface of it. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe maybe if I used it more, I'd like it. Maybe you guys like it. I've never been a Google Docs person. But the option's there. It might be worth you trying it out on Windows or Mac first and see if it'll work for whatever you need Office for. It would probably work for me, too. I just I don't like what it looks like. And that's how I feel about Google Docs. Microsoft also makes a online version of Microsoft Office, which you can find at office.com, I think. Yeah, there it is. And there will be a, when you go to it on a Chromebook or Windows or anything, there will be a button to install it as an app, which I've already done. And that gives you an icon in your dock like this. So this is the progressive web app version of Microsoft Office. Now, it's okay, but it's also not there yet. Um, when you click on this plus, you can make a new Word, PowerPoint, Excel, or these other things, which you'll probably never use. There's no Microsoft Access, so if you need a database, that's not happening. But if I clicked on make a new Word document, you get a facsimile of Microsoft Word and it works and the thing about it is you can go to save as and you can save it into your Microsoft cloud or you can export it to your device and it kind of works too um, I'm pretty sure macros are not available on this so if you're doing stuff with macros this is not going to be very good for you also it doesn't work with a file system API I've noticed so if you have a like a thumb drive or an external hard drive with a bunch of office documents on it, you're not going to be able to double click on them and have them open in this online word. So that's another limitation. I never use this either. But one thing I will say to Microsoft's credit is they do seem to be putting effort into this and it's getting more capabilities as time goes on. So I think in the years ahead, this might be a viable product. But in my opinion, it's not there yet either. Um, so those are the online alternatives you can think about. The other alternative is LibreOffice, which is a Linux application. It's also available for free on Mac and Windows. It is a totally open source version of Office. And I've been using it on Linux for about 10 years. And it works good for me. I've, I have full faith in it. It's totally compatible with all Microsoft documents that I've tried. And because of it, I haven't had real Microsoft Office in, like I said, 10 years or more. And I don't have it installed right now, but if you want to install it on a Chrome OS, I'll just show you real quick. You uh, First, you have to install the Linux environment. If you want help on doing that, you uh, I have a video called How to Install Linux Apps on Chrome OS. Check that out. I also install LibreOffice in that video. But once you have the Linux environment set up, the first time you open it, it takes a minute to load. However, installing it's very easy once you get this. When you're at your uh, command prompt, you just type apt, 
apt. Oh wait, we just need sudo apt install LibreOffice, which is L I B R E O F F I C E. Enter. You say yes to install, and it'll probably take about ten minutes, maybe less. Um, I actually sat there and waited for the whole install in the other video I mentioned, which you can check out on my channel. And it works. And so that's another thing you can try. And that's one you can also test out on your Mac or Windows before trying to dive into Chrome OS. But it works. Um, I think it works pretty good on every file format I've tried thrown at it. Um, I run a software business. Some of you might may or may not know that. And I've been doing everything totally from LibreOffice, like I said, for 10 years. So I think it's fine. I think if you're thinking about going to Chrome OS, first of all, you can test the whole thing on a USB stick before you install it. If you do Chrome OS Flex, if you are ready to make the plunge, um, LibreOffice, I think will get you there. But if you really need Microsoft Office for a school, for work, they require it for whatever reason, uh, then Chrome OS or Linux in general might not be for you. Microsoft has it locked really to Windows and Mac. I don't think that's ever going to change. I know it's possible on Linux using Wine to install outdated versions of Office, if that's fine for you. But if you're going to use an old version of Office, in my opinion, at that point, LibreOffice is probably just as good or better. But I don't think you're going to get the newest version of Office to work. Um, that's just a dream. Probably not going to happen. Probably never going to happen. If you're interested in Chrome OS or Chrome OS Flex, that's something you got to be aware of. And that's just the way it is. But I think give these other alternatives a try. Maybe it'll work for you and maybe they won't. They work for me, though, the one I've showed you. And I think someday the Microsoft Office web app will be there. And frankly, the Google Docs is probably good for a lot of people. I've just never used it that much. And to me, I don't like what it looks like. You guys might like it. So those are my opinions on the matter. But that's the biggest question I've been getting is about Microsoft Office. And the short answer is the full Microsoft Office will not be working on Chrome OS now or probably ever. But there are alternatives that I encourage you to check out. That way you can see if going to Chrome OS Flex is right for you. But thank you for watching, as always. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope you have a good day. And I'll see you soon.